All right, guys. So today we're trying to figure out why your account is not showing impressions and how to fix it. So there's three main reasons why a Google Ads account might not be getting impressions. All right. It's uh, it's pretty basic. We're going to go through all three of those today and I'm going to show you how to fix them. So number one and the most common reason that a new Google Ads campaign um, will not show impressions is because most likely it's a new account. So what do I mean by that? So when you create a Google Ads account, sometimes, only sometimes, I don't know why, it will go under a five-day review. Uh, I should say five to seven-day review. It could be sooner, but I've seen it go as far as seven days out. And this usually only happens to new campaigns. I'm sorry, new accounts. So a brand new Google Ads account, we have clients come through all the time that have never run Google Ads before. And they'll set up a new account for us. We'll put our campaigns in. We'll hit the go button, right? You know what I mean? Like we're ready to rock and roll and nothing. Crickets, no impressions, no nothing. Everything's on. Everything's approved. There's no issues like that. So normally the only reason, the only way to find out if this happened to you is to actually go and chat Google support and just ask them straight up, you know, I'm not getting impressions. This is a brand new Google ads account. Am I under a manual review? And they'll tell you right away, usually. But that is the go-to number one reason why you're not getting impressions if you have a new account. Now, the second reason and second most popular reason that you may not be getting impressions in your Google Ads account is pretty simple, right? So let's go into an account here. And I'm going to show you the targeting. So if your targeting is too small, then you're limited on your locations. Okay, so if we open up, let me select the campaign here just so I can show you guys what I got going on. So let's go into settings, dumpster rental, perfect, locations, looks good, advanced search. All right, so we have a map up now of our client in this instance account. He's in Ohio. So let's say that you're not getting impressions. Your campaign's been turned on for a few days and you got nothing. All right. One of the main reasons that this happens as well is because you're targeting too small. I've seen people who have a five mile radius around an address and then they wonder why they're not getting impressions, even in a populated area. Okay, so you need to keep that in mind. The, the small radius stuff is what can choke a campaign and prevent impressions from starting or from even you know scaling. You might get five, six impressions in a week. It's most likely because your targeting is too small. So you have to watch out for that stuff. And especially if you're like, let's say you're, I'm from Pennsylvania, right? So if you're in the Pocono Mountains or something like that, obviously it's a rural area, okay? So there's gonna be limited reach and it could be a reason like that where if you're targeting five miles around some cabin on Lake Harmony, then yeah, that's probably why you're not getting impressions. So you got to kind of put everything through the lens of targeting as well. So if you rule out that it's not a new account and you have small targeting, then that's probably why it's happening. So number three, and this one is probably one of the most common as well. I, all three of these are the most common, but this one is a big one too, because people don't understand how Google's bidding auction works. For the most part, 99% of people don't understand it. Now, if you have a campaign running, let's say you create a, this is a dumpster rental campaign. Let's say I create this guy's dumpster rental campaign in Akron, Ohio, and he's ready to rock and roll. He's got a healthy budget. It's like a hundred bucks a day, five days a week. And I set his bids at $3. So my max cost per click that I'm, I'm telling Google using max clicks or manual CPC when I start out a campaign is um, $3. So by doing that, I'm actually choking the campaign because I'm not going to be able to afford to even get a click for $3 in Akron, Ohio for dumpster rental, unless I'm using, you know, broad match or some kind of random strategy. If you're building your campaigns correctly for lead generation, you're using exact and phrase match, you're not getting shit with $3. Okay. So it can choke based on if your bids are too low. So if that's your situation, you've cleared that your account is not new your targeting is not small, then it's most likely your bids are too low. So increase your max CPC and the impression should start coming. Now, the other side of this coin, pay attention, guys, this is really important. 
The other side of this coin is the budget. If we have a $10 a day budget, you're going to choke the campaign. It, it's Google can't do anything with that. If you're bidding on keywords that cost $20 for a click, $18 for a click, $15 for a click, and your budget is $10, Google's like, oh, they just freeze up and they can't do anything. So you're not going to get impressions. Or if you do, it'll be tiny, like a handful a week. So that's the uh, one of the main reasons why if your bidding is too low or your budget is too low, you're going to choke the campaign. And and this one, honestly, besides the new account stuff, I see this one the most. And it's it's usually the bids are too low, but I've seen the budget a few times. You need to be realistic with your Google Ads budgets. So if, if you're a new business owner or something like that, save so you have 90 days of runway. Okay. And what I mean by that is let's say you want to run $100 a day, five days a week. Make sure you save a couple thousand dollars so you have that budget set aside ready to go and be spent in Google ads. Cause once you run these things, you've got to just let them run and gather data to optimize and dial them in to get your leads up and your lead cost down. That's how it works. So you need budget to do that. Now, if you're watching this and you have, you're like have an Oh shit moment where it's like, Oh, wow, well, I'm bidding like $2 max CPC for roofing. <laughs> then, you know, the issue, all right, raise your max CPC and those issues will resolve themselves.